Welkom allemaal bij Castlefest TV. Wat leuk dat jullie weer kijken en wat leuk om hier weer te zijn. Um, uh, dit wordt een interview met een Engelse band, dus we gaan ook Engels spreken. En dat betekent dat ik ook nog een keer open voor de mensen die die taal verstaan. So, uh, welcome. Thank, uh, thank you all for joining uh, this live broadcast from Leiden, where we have a very special band. Uh, awesome to be live again with Castlefest TV. Uh, awesome to be so close to this band again. Uh, I must stress, like we have done before, that the bands we invite here won't necessarily be at, uh, in the line of, of uh, Castlefest, um, but uh, they have been many times before. Uh, so to all of you watching, uh, please enjoy the Dolmen! <laughs> And to find the life He tied his gaze into a fish A young year pretty you got this is You must do what you gotta do And it's done in your way Go! Well, I want you in your yard The last girl to the door I wish you in your yard
Now that's how you open a show. <laughs> Just like to know. Oh, wow. I've, I've been on the stage with you guys before, but, uh, well, not like this. Never this is so. awesome. No, no, we should. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just flabbergasted by, by this amazing, <laughs> overwhelming sound. What a way to open the show. Yeah, just find yourself a spot. Yeah. Right. Hello, Matt. Just yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get on in don't, don't, don't say it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, sorry. The You're bunion. right. Yeah, the bunion's on the other foot. Sorry. Right, there we go. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> no more New Year, like, yeah. mm. too much weight. No, there's been a, a way more festive event since um, <laughs> the, um, the New Year, of course. Only two days ago, you had another reason to celebrate. Okay. Three. <laughs> it was three days ago, wasn't it? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> what day are we on? It's, it's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's the happy birthday, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, a bit late, but nonetheless. Thank you. No, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I like to keep it quiet. <laughs> oh, you're rotten. A couple of people blew it so, on Facebook, but apart from that, I managed to keep it quiet. Yeah, yeah, the word got out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, the, there they are, the dolmen. So this is, this is amazingly awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad you're touring our uh, little country and not just uh, the Netherlands, I believe. But you have two gigs coming up this weekend, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you up for it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome to, to uh, have you touring and, and you'll be going around uh, the mainland as well as the, um, um, uh, well, the UK. Yeah. So uh, nothing stopping you there, no. right? Which is awesome. Yeah. I, think, yeah, I keep on traveling. And um, well, tonight we, uh, we will be doing um, uh, this interview, but we also have uh, some special elements in there. And I have to explain to the people at home that um, we have this thing, and it's, it doesn't really translate well to English, but it's a hashtag we have, Vraag uh, Femke. So that means, it's like ask me anything, but then you ask it to Femke, who's, who's right there. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, try to find somebody who knows how to write this, Vraag het Femke, and um, those questions will come uh, uh, to the stage at one point in the, uh, in the live show. Say so that again. Vraag het Femke. Come on, you have a go. Vraag het Femke. Say it again. Vraag het Femke. Vraag het Femke. <laughs> so close. The That's why they you don't let it, me speak very much. You said it three times really quickly. Yeah. Vraag yeah. Het. Vraag het Femke, vraag het Femke, vraag het Femke. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so. Can you do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't even want to go there. No, I can't. I can embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hashtag. Yeah, it's a hashtag we have for the people that are so, at home. Because so there's actually people watching this. this is, you are now live hashtag streaming. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, do not swear. No. <laughs> well, the, it is the Netherlands, but this is an international audience, of course, because it's Castle Fest TV. So, yeah, let's keep it nice. We, we don't swear. No, you would drink. never, yeah. would you? No. We don't swear, we don't drink, we don't, don't do anything, really. We're really, really, really boring bunch. Yeah, right. Yeah, just like we know you. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what we did is, is we have collected some questions already, and there was a little giveaway uh, related to it. Um, so I'm going to ask you some questions. I will ask you the ones that are of this little contents that is there for your next gig, which, no, it's the one after the next. Uh, it's on a Saturday in Bibelot. Uh, in Dordrecht, um, and I'm, I'm very curious to see what you think of these questions, and the one that uh, to you is the most awesome is actually the question that will earn somebody two tickets to that show. Okay. Ah. Ooh, power. Yeah, I tried exactly. to get a ticket to that show. You did? Impossible. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, it's um, it's um, it's a really nice venue, Bibelot. So um, it's it's famous. Uh, a lot of people used to go dancing there, and a lot of 
shows have been held there that are fitting in this scene. So uh, you'll find a lot of uh, happy folk there joining. Just making myself comfortable. Ah, yes. <laughs> Waiting for that arm to reach across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be like, uh, you know. I, I, I do this yeah. when I take myself out at night. <laughs> <laughs> Like for dinner, or like when you hit your head on something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. But um, before we get into all that, how you been? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for a load of people who don't do anything, we've been really, really busy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been good, hasn't it? Like, uh, New Year was great. Yeah. That was, that was good yeah. fun, despite all of us being really ill. Uh, but push through it, drink through it. We yeah. don't drink. Uh, yeah. Um, we're obviously working on the, the second part of the Witches and Cunning Folk album at the moment, which has been really good. We've got Crow Dancers up and coming as well, so there's lots of uh, little little side projects we've got going on as well as the touring and things like that, so it's, it's been, yeah, it's been busy. We're recording four albums at the moment. Four? Were, Sorry, uh, what? Four albums, but they're all like really important to us. We have uh, the Crow Dancers, which is deeply in our spiritual side. Yeah, and uh, the crow dancers only you only see crow dancers ever like at spiritually based or spiritually orientated festivals, events, and uh, then we then we have a, another sort of line with the witches and cunning folk, but we also have like uh, the the black cloud, you know we do a set, a song in our set called Black Cloud, and that's become such a popular song. Uh, but it's got such an energy to it, it's, we couldn't find an album where we could fit it into. So we got to, we're, we're just making a whole album for it, which we call the sort of the Wolf Child. Oh, wow. and uh, so that that one's really really brilliant. So the message so is how, asking us when we're going to put Black Cloud on an yeah. album can stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Well, it, it was actually in there. Mm -hmm. um, one of the questions, uh, of course, always is when's your new album out? But yeah, a lot of surprises, I, exactly. Yeah, yeah at some point. I didn't yeah. expect you to be working on four at the same time. Yeah, we neither did we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of them will definitely be out in twenty twenty. Right. Yeah, that's a safe bet. At least one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is that was so much conviction. <laughs> but, uh, they were. They're all going to be out. They'll have them all out. <coughs> so they they got to be out. Um, for this, so we'll have the which is which is incoming folk will be out like over the next two months. Right. Uh, co dancers will be out in March, also, and uh, the but the uh, the wolf child that's going to take a, a little bit longer because uh, it's a real specialist album, and uh, and then we have a then we have a fourth album which is the um, sensational infernals, which is all part of something else we do like you know as because you know, we're very very busy with we're actors as well now. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> We've taken to the stage. The stage. Yeah. Well, I suppose we've always been on the stage. But oh, yeah. But, actors, but this is a different yeah. setting then. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing plays now. Yeah. Yeah. Which Thank is great. You. We got the album out of that. <laughs> the Theatre album. I, it's, it's, okay, so since you're, 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 you're um, on the topic of the stage, right? Yeah. I have, the, I, have, I have the list of these questions here, right here. And I, I won't show you the name to keep it just... You know, uh, uh, you can't uh, read, Chris. Can't. Yeah, no, I'm trying to hide them no. from you. It's all in yeah. Chinese. Yeah, I, I was going to say I'm going to keep it double blind, but that that won't be the case. But I, so I'll know. But just I, blind ones. The the question here, uh, the first one I have is: Are there any plans for the Infernal Theatre again? Which I think is what you're alluding to. Yes, there is. Uh, so yes. for those for those yeah. people that do not know. Because because we all collect your albums, but then there's this really special thing here. I was I'm so pleased with this. We we put this show together um, <laughs> last year, uh, and and what it was we we wanted to do we wanted to get into theatre and we wanted to actually do something, which is going to be different because we just we love we love making music, writing music, and uh, and we also wanted to actually do some stage work and where we could actually. Do some theatrics with it, and so we have this character called Victor Visago, and he uh, plays a sort of main part. And the Infernal Theatre is basically his variety show of all the songs and all the characters. It is completely not what you would expect it to be. It's got some brilliant artists on there, and uh, 
Yeah, so great singers on there. You have uh, uh, Yulene Fash, uh, who does a medieval singing on there. In fact, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yulene, right? So she's on this album. Oh, wow, I Yulene. did not know. And uh, absolutely fantastic in the, the part she plays, and we've got the Twins of Fate, and uh, which is with Louise and Yulene Shorten, and, and Pierre Bartman, who also did the opening song to it. And so th this variety show is yeah. like... It's scary. Not forgetting the Sensational Infernals. And the Sensational Infernals, who are the Devil's Band themselves. Brilliant magician. Sasha. But is this like a family show then? No. <laughs> Not no, quite. No, it depends what kind of family you <laughs> 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 It's absolutely yeah. horrific. It's absolutely <laughs> horrific. And the characters that are played in this... If you don't like clowns, for instance... Uh, you definitely don't want to go. It's not for um, you. Is no, it? do. My, uh, <laughs> we love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely um, a, a minimum age of 16, probably yeah. 18, depending on... Uh, Which country? On, on, yeah, on your limits. Right. Your character, yeah. it, in, in the UK, it would definitely be an over-18s thing, but yeah. then we have a lot of red tape. Crazy <laughs> burlesque with chloroform. Yeah, yeah Miss Chloroform. Speaking of characters, quickly, I know what type of person you are. Would you like to just move away from the microphone? I can see you yeah, because I'm going to put my drink keep, straight in that. Aren't I'm I? looking at it as if you're going to bash your leg on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yes. right, yeah. so it will happen All again. All right. Happen, yeah. Well, I, I, I'll be sure to listen to this because I'm now really intrigued. Um, and, and the twins, I think a lot of people that go to the festivals here in the Netherlands at least yeah. know them. So yeah. they yeah. travel with you yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. So next time you pass yeah. us on the highway, this is going to be like... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that did happen. We met at the highway. <laughs> yeah. What did you do to my head? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my head! <laughs> you invited me in. <laughs> so you, you, you said, I know what kind of person you are. Um, and this is actually a question. Oh, is it? But then for the whole band. Uh -oh. uh, so that's a nice segue. Ooh. So one of the questions is, if the dolman was a person, yeah. how would you describe its character? Twisted. Locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a giggle, really. Yeah, yeah it would be a giggly what, person. What, what the kind of guy that just sits in the corner nervous, of a party and doesn't really you. say so, much. So we've got you know, a twisted, right. locked up, giggly, nervous person, is that right? Yeah, I think so. A yeah, twisted, locked up, up, giggly... Probably be the guy who stood on the table, wouldn't he? Well, would he be a cool <laughs> person? I hope so. And overall... Because we're then... rubbish if we're in the We can't act cool at all, like... Oh, I was going to come and sit on here like this. And... But I just can't do it, like... I mean, Chris was going to go on... I was going to, but I don't want to tip me drinking wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh is the coolest of the yeah, band. Right, isn't do you cool, Josh? I, I can't. He's go just on. so suave, he just can't act cool. He's beatbox champion. He's really Anything modest now. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Really modest about it. Yeah. Hey, you, you didn't but always be... Uh, was a, he wasn't always a, a, a guitar player, were you now? No, he was a no. baby as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you, you are a multi-instrumentalist, aren't I you? I am, unfortunately, yes. Yes. So what, what, what other instruments do you play? Um, beatbox. None of it touches yeah. his beatbox. <laughs> You're going to well, give us some started out on violin, believe it or not. I don't really play it anymore. Oh, wow. And, uh, it was kind of then that my parents knew that I could add an ear for something. So then I had piano lessons, beatbox uh, lessons, first school, and then we have a we have a free tier school well, where I come from. So we have the first school, middle school, and then senior school. And just before middle school, I learned piano, and then when I joined middle school, I learned saxophone, uh, and then eventually I learned guitar when I was about 13, 14. And kind of went from wow. there, really. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't didn't think so, 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 so. Oh, we'll back you up with it. Southwest UK champion. Yeah. 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 It's the perfect time oh, and place. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Because those, those people, you never do it live on stage anymore. I couldn't. No. Do that. Just, just, just like a couple of bars. But we'll give you. Spit a couple of bars. Spit couple we'll of back bars. you up. We'll join Talical them. Talical rap. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to spit a couple right. of bars, can I take my drink off the table? You've got an umbrella. Now, the trick for beatboxing is to use uh, <laughs> terms that are related to cats. So you've got like the puss in boots, you've got your boots and cats, and yeah. boots and cat. Everybody's heard that. But what people <laughs> don't realise is to get your fills and bits of that in, you can throw any of cat related three, word in three, there. Three, four, like rhythm. Kitten, for example. Got a boots and cats. 
boots and cats and kittens and cats and kittens and cats and boots and cats and kittens and boots. Forgot the first bit. Boots and cats. Oh right, yeah. Kittens and boots. Can you try and put that together? Yeah. Boots and cats. Give it a go. Boots and cats and 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 boots the band. A newspaper article, I believe. Aren't it? <laughs> yeah. What? A Seriously? Newspaper? Yeah, yeah. My dad used to love going for the newspaper and uh, one, uh, talking about all the bits and pieces, all the gigs that were on and all the instruments that were for sale and bits and pieces. And uh, this was before Facebook and you can go on Marketplace and have a little graph. Anyway, uh, he said, there's a band looking for a guitarist. And he's like, you should, you should do it. And I thought, nah. Not, no, I don't think so. Kind of, I was... Well, I am still quite a subdued person, really. Uh -huh. You were also only 17. <laughs> yeah, I was only 17. And was uh, a boy. as it happened, I ended up doing a, a competition with the school, uh, playing Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, but with a load of flautists. So loads of flute players, and then we had a three-piece rhythm section doing guitar, bass and drums, and a pianist. Oh, wow. That's a four-piece, but lovely. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of big. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, I, I had... A, particularly you know, good good reviews of my guitaring, so I felt quite good. And I got in through the door, I looked at the newspaper, and I went, oh, well, bugger it. And I just put it in. <laughs> and I, yeah, and there nah, it was. you went for it. Yeah. So you yeah. were already a band then? No. Uh, I, these guys were. I, kind of, well, I, I was in the band then. I'd been in the band for a year um, yeah. when Josh joined. And then Josh... Recruited Christopher. Yeah. Me and Christopher. It was, right. it was really funny because I, I thought, like, well, too long. <laughs> he'd, he'd, he'd phoned up, like, and just before him, like, this other chap had phoned up and everything who was um, well into his 60s, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but, um, but he, he was there, but, like, I mean, he couldn't go under on the stage because he suffered like, with epilepsy and everything, and he hadn't played the guitar for 25 years. So I, I said, well, I'll give the audition to him. <laughs> I thought he sounded more promising. And when he got there, <laughs> we were having 30 songs. I gave him a load of songs. And I thought, well, he's either going to make this or we won't. And because uh, we, we were already, already touring around and everything and, um, in the UK. And uh, so I gave him a load of songs. And I said, well, look, we're going to do a gig on Thursday. So you've got like, sort of three days to learn this. It's a bunch of songs and everything. Good pressure. And, uh, and which he did. He did. He went and learned them. Five songs. Yeah. He, went, oh, he wow. actually Five went and, and he, he went through all of them. But when we actually got to the gig, what happened? He didn't play a single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to make it up on the spot and see. But you did. And like that. Oh, so, wow. you know, and then, and, you know, that is, that's always a test. Like with the Dolman. The Dolman's an organic band. You know what I mean? It's got to come straight out of your heart. If it doesn't come from your heart, then you're like, it's, not, it's never going to work. You've got, you've got to be able to push it straight in there. And uh, you did, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, oh, it was quite funny. Are, it was yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, <there's> some... <laughs> <laughs> now that traumatizes him now. <laughs> like, <laughs> that actually counts as a third question, because yeah. it was one of how did you guys meet? So I think we... we kind of got an idea but you, you said you were in the band already for a year um, yeah. so there was something I, happening previously I worked in a tattoo shop and um, some of his tattoos were done well a lot of his tattoos were done by the tattooist I worked for and have I, you done any yourself no not on him ah. <laughs> wouldn't be uh, that. <laughs> but I, I not allowed to spell those words on stage <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to go and watch the band before I was actually in the band um, went to a few of the local festivals and stuff. Actually, Talek saved my life because I fell asleep drunk in my car with the engine running. Um, and so, yeah, before I joined the band, he saved my life. <laughs> and, you saved uh, your, your own life by not driving at <laughs> the uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I purposely went to sleep in my car, but it was cold. Right, um, oh, okay. <laughs> and, she the, was in and, the fumes, and the fumes were actually so bad, like, they were keeping the rest of the campers awake. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I do have a habit of owning rubbish cars. I'm falling yeah. asleep. 
and falling asleep. So the, the two kind of went together on this particular event. So yeah, I used to go and watch the band. Uh, I'm friends with uh, Talek's daughter. So basically, I, I'd, I'd been around for a bit, and then I ended up working in the tattoo shop, and he was looking for a bass player. And just sort of like a throwaway comment, I was like, yeah, I sort of play the bass, but not very well, but if I hear anyone, I'll let you know. And then sort of like a few weeks later, uh, we're in the pub, <laughs> and he's lining up this gig for someone or whatever, and the, the bass player before me, she had to do something or have an operation. She wasn't going to be there, basically. And we were sat there chatting away, and he went, so yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, it'll be in a few months' time, blah, blah, blah. He said, you'll be able to learn it by then, won't you? And I was like, what? <laughs> no, 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 I can't do anything. And, and he's like, yeah, test, yeah, yeah, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. So anyway, I'm like, uh, absolutely crapping myself. And he's like, yeah, just pop round to uh, my studio or whatever, and yeah, you know, we'll see what you got. <laughs> and of course, I do not play bass guitar really at all. I've played about, you know, this smell, smells like teen spirit a few times to your tabs and your, on your really, really... And of course, he's like, what bass guitar have you got? I was like, it's, it's not really classed as a uh, bass guitar, it's more of a lump of wood. And he's like, no, I'm sure it's fine. And I turned up with what is actually a piece of Number wood. wood. Yeah. <laughs> and it was this serious. massive red and white encore bass guitar. And he was like, oh, wow. hmm, yes. Yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> and on the day, literally, I went round and we sort of went through a couple. He's like, yeah, you should be able to pick it up in a few months. It'll be fine. How they actually took me on, I have no idea, but it just sort of happened. Well, you stood a test. Go on, tell it, about the test. Like, you'll get... <laughs> Oh, you my gig, my can. gig was so cruel. My <laughs> gig was horribly cruel. He got 25 songs to learn in three days. I got, why don't you pop to a gig and, you know, see how you feel to watch. I got called up for the last <laughs> three. I never played these, I never even heard these, but as much <laughs> as I went to the gigs, I drank and danced. I didn't listen to anything intricate in my life. So I got basically pulled up on stage. I tried to leave the stage. His, his yeah. daughter, Tan, oh. uh, Kerry, yeah. he was like, no, Kerry, you've got to stay. And I was like, I just want to cry. Oh, yeah. You did cry. She was crying. <laughs> she I, did, her eyes out. I did cry. And it was awful. And it was a mess. And um, for some reason, yeah. even though the first time I was on stage with these guys, and it was a mess, and I cried, I'm somehow still here. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't understand. I knew, the only I knew thing... that if she could do it, if she stayed on that stage yeah, to yeah. the end of that song, like, you know, and I know how hallowing it is, and I, but I knew if she could do it, then she would actually yeah. make it as a bass player and a performer. But to and, be fair, at the same no. time, we basically then spent, obviously, once I rocked up with my massive lump of red and white encore piece of wood that was probably better for a fire than it was to play with, in all fairness, he did march me down to the to the music shop in, in our town, Weymouth, and was like, right, we're, we're going to get that, 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 and that. So my first Yamaha bass guitar, actually, Talit bought for me. And then every morning, <laughs> painstakingly, he picked me up at nine in the morning before I went to the tattoo shop for three hours to play the bass guitar for three hours. And he did teach me painstakingly every single day. Most days he did buy me a bacon sandwich, though, so it wasn't too bad. <laughs> there are people sweet. out here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, there are people are watching now. Like you're such a musician. Nine o'clock yeah. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a bit of like yeah. the ten thousand hours you need to get in right before you oh, can yeah, play. It was, yeah, it was. It was. It was crazy. It was great. It was. It was all right. And to be fair, I wouldn't change it. All of it. Not all. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't change all of it. I could probably change some of it. Um, but no, I wouldn't change all of it. And, it's, I've still got my first bass guitar that Talit brought me in and I wouldn't be here and wouldn't be playing it if, if I hadn't got up at nine o'clock every morning painstakingly for my bacon sandwich and to sit there for three hours being shouted at about what I had to play. <laughs> <laughs> but really? we got there in the end and he taught yeah, me, did. so there you go. Three days doesn't seem so bad, does it? No. <laughs> He's a bit like the Willy Wonka and we're all his charlies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We've all stood these little tasks amongst others. So you're Victor Fasagi, you know, you're Willy Wonka, are you? <laughs> yeah. 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 Now you, went, you mentioned um, Wymouth, right? 
Weymouth. 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 Yeah. Um, actually, one of the questions, uh, since we're on the topic of mm. uh, geography, is do you know where Weris is? Where is where? Where is Weris? Where is? What's he said? Yeah. Where's Weris? Where is Weris? Where is Weris? This is an actual question. <laughs> Where is? Where is? Yes. Where is? How does it spell? Can you say it's, it's spelled like where is? Where uh, is? But you're pronouncing where it like where is? is? <laughs> where is? It's W E R I S. I think someone's having a Yeah. This is This is a question somebody asked, especially because uh, I think it's a he. Um, yes. Wanted to draw your attention to this place in Belgium, where there are. Oh, it's not in Weymouth. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Like, okay. no. But there, okay. there, of course, are Dolmen there. Right. Oh, oh, like the right. Okay, yes. but, right, yeah, I was yeah, trying yeah, to think yeah, of a place yeah. in the, like in Dorset where they so come from, I. like uh, and the yeah. well, the, the, the Dolmen stones. Uh, there were, the, you know, Dolmen stones are found all over the world, and um, we've been to a few in the Netherlands, actually, haven't we? Yeah. The yeah. Netherlands yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Ah, quite yeah. A lot, yeah. The Hunebedda, yeah. so like the, the, the burial ones where they yeah, have a flat one right. on top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Burial ones, Borker. artistic ones, market ones, there's all sorts here. Really yeah. Cool. They're, they're like, uh, you know, well, why we called ourselves a dolmen, like why we took the name of dolmen, the dolmen stones are a meeting place. They weren't just a burial mound, but it was actually a meeting place of, uh, of uh, for the local tribal visitors and things like that, whatever for people. And uh, it was a bit like a sort of house of commons, really. And uh, a place of initiations, a place of meditations. So these are these kind of like these tombs, which we just see as tombs these days. They weren't just tombs; they were very, very special places. They had weddings there, and they had like sort of, you know, like the Wiccan and the children there, and um, and anything else that was actually major going on. So that's why we took the name the Dolmen, because we wanted uh, the band to be a place, a meeting place. Where everybody, we wanted the the music to be be live, organic, and uh, but a place where people would come for celebration, and and the, uh, these places are uh, like all over the all over the earth. Um, a chap of an archaeologist over in India sent me a fantastic one that he found, and um, this is right out there, like in sort of uh, like India, in the wilds, and, um, they're everywhere. Yeah. You showed me one in Turkey, didn't you? Which was yeah. really fascinating. Oh, and it predated wow. what we thought to be um, sophisticated humans. Yeah. Um, way before we thought we were anything more than hunter gatherers, before we thought we were able to even communicate between each other. There's these uh, series of massive stone circles, dolmen circles in, uh, in Turkey. Yeah. And they're all over the place. It takes quite an effort to uh, erect such a huge, heavy yeah. object. And so it does. We try. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's bad enough putting the tenner out of the tent. <laughs> Putting yeah. the tenner with you lot is dangerous yeah. and not recommended. All right, I'll move on to the next one. Because um, uh, we, we talked about your uh, past. Now let's go to the present. Mm -hmm. Which support act is your favourite one? I think Which one would you dream world. to be on? Yeah. We've got to go with the guys we've got this weekend. Yeah, of course. Tomorrow, yeah. actually. If, if yeah, I think where you're going Royal with Spurs. this. Yeah. Oh, the Royal Spurs are brilliant. And um, yep. like over here, like, I mean, we may, like, obviously we meet loads and loads of bands. They also, things, more importantly, know. saved our bacon. And they and did. The, like, uh, the, the Royal Spurs yeah. saved <laughs> our really, bacon. They really, really did. And, um, and, you know, and there's one thing that we have. It's very, very long memories. You know what I mean? And, um, and it's something that we were very grateful for because we just bought a car, we had to buy it in the rush. Um, yeah, we had the. Uh, it was a disaster from start to we finish. We were digging at the start of war. <laughs> somehow we managed to get it all the way to the and, Netherlands yeah. and somehow we got it all the way home again. Gaffer tape and WD 40. <laughs> and, and a really, really kind fo phone call to the guy from the Royal Spice. Uh, yeah, they were, well, they were doing stuff. the awards, weren't they? It was the, yeah. the, the start of awards. And. And what had happened is that our cover, our breakdown cover, suddenly didn't cover us when we was over here because that didn't have the register. It had to be registered with registration. And we just bought this car. Um, that this day. Is not, yeah. And um, 
So they You'll remember actually, as you yeah. called the dog, yeah, yeah, we all yeah, came yeah. in yeah. one by one. Yeah. Yeah. This is why. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> I mean, actually, when you were waiting for I remember sitting you backstage, you know, going completely well, nuts over the car. Yeah. <laughs> I was happy with the <laughs> AA well. guy. But anyway, they yeah. said, Dark Bacon, they're brilliant guys, like, and everything. And so on that, on that grounds, I definitely, you know, but then again, but we don't really see support bands as support bands. We see them as bands. And uh, we're all playing on the same stage. We played with some great yeah. bands. So hmm, these yeah. guys are memorable, obviously, because they did save, save our, our bacon, bacon like hell. Yeah. And, and it also, also offered to drive us back with the actual yeah. trailer and all the gear if yeah. they couldn't get the car fixed. And we're also gigging with them this weekend yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you on can. P60 and uh, sorry. Bibelot, yeah, Bibelot. or Bibelot. Um, just so, class. you know, we're gigging with them this weekend. They are a great bunch of guys. They have saved our bacon, but we've played with some awesome bands. We played with Sunfire last year, and, you know, we... Kisser and we played with loads of really guys. Spoiled, Shireen, I think we've had some really amazing bands come and play with us on our tours over the years. Haven't we? My yeah. my brain cells just don't Phenomenal. extend that far back to everybody <laughs> that we've played with. So I'm really sorry for whoever I've missed because I'm sure I've missed something. We well, have good memories. <laughs> and that's all your guys' fault. That's what I'm going for anyway. Oh, but I like what you said. It's not a supporting act. Yeah, this is just. It. Your band you're lucky enough to play with. Um. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. In, in England, like we tour, like and we've got and we we built a band, the Sensational Infernals, or part of this thing, or some plays in that band, and um, and Chris Jones and we have a brilliant singer called Ren, and a brilliant bass player, a big double bass player, that guy called Steve Cove, and they're they're fantastic. You know, they go everywhere with us. But it's then again, once again, it's not it's not support. They're just with us. Yeah. You know, we're all on the same stage, like, and you look at what music works best first. We're all supporting each other. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly. that's oh. Yeah, yeah no We'll do the hug later, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love the hugs. <laughs> right. Yeah, all right. A... Um, people ask quite a few questions. So I'll move on to the next one then. Yeah. The funniest thing ever to happen on stage during a gig? On stage. Oh. On stage. Oh. There's um. been so many. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You've got one. <laughs> 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 All right. It's really not the time or the place. <laughs> <laughs> I got a clue when that happened. I sit Where behind him, so I get quite a few. Well, you know, like he, like he, he's on the drums behind. We're doing this. We're doing this festival. There's somewhere in Germany, and the sun's beating down on this, thing, <laughs> and we are just melting. And he's he's put all his shoulder out and everything, and. uh yeah, and so there he is. Like, I mean, he's he's got this deep heat, you know. Like, so what do they, what's that tiger stuff? Bomb. Tiger bomb. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so he's smothering <laughs> For your muscles. Yeah. He's got this. He's got this towel. I'm and, bathing uh, in it. And yeah, this, he's got this, like the towel vat round it. Was this scarf? Was it? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. This has got the very scarf on because this. When I put tiger bomb on, of course, I'm melting as well. My shoulders throbbing. It's mm -hmm. out. Come out of joint and gone back in halfway through the set. Uh, so I've. Bathe myself in tiger I've got it all over my hands. I'm sweating and go, so I wipe my hands off with oh. a scarf here just to make sure I don't get it in my eyes or anything really <laughs> stupid right, yeah. like that because it really, really hurts. So, what happens? <laughs> right, there we are, the sun's beating down and everything's like, we're like doing all this bit. And we get up and we've just done a drum bit all together. We've all got on the drums, we're doing this. And all the sweat is in my eyes and everything. I can't see and everything. And he's taken that off and he's got it on the side of his drum. <laughs> so I faked it up. Take it <laughs> and I've rubbed my face with it. I wiped out of my eyes and then that was it. <laughs> now I can't see because my eyeballs have actually come out like this. Like I look like a Simpson. And I sort of went, whoa, like that. I came straight out, staggered off the visor. I went straight out over the edge of the stage, you know, which actually wasn't the worst of it because I was still blind. <laughs> you know, and there's just like these big red rashes around the eyeballs. Oh, you know, wow. Which was funny, like, you know, um, It was funny for us anyway. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they the like, you know, I can look back on it and laugh. Oh, yeah. But you were all right, Paul, on the stage. He's never been all right. It's just like, you know, <laughs> like sort of, um, in the course of a. Of injuries, which we say, like, I mean, I only said, like, so we, we're, always, we're very careful, like, where we strategically put things because we're accident prone. You. He's worse than me. Mm, am uh, I? 
Um, I don't know. Uh, perhaps not. Castle Fest. Mm. Oh, that was a nightmare. That, was, <laughs> oh, God. that really was a nightmare. Mm. I didn't Since know this that. is Castle Fest TV, do elaborate. Right. <laughs> we were just about to go on, right? <laughs> we were just about to get announced, and I realised I got the plectrums are in the um in the car. Oh yeah. Which is just like the back. So I ran down like and I jumped down off the thing like and everything. Look and great. I, <laughs> and I <laughs> sort like of I got my plectrums. No, I didn't get my plectrums. I opened the car and I thought, oh no, I did put them there. And now I, I remember they are on the stage. So instead of actually um, going round and going up the proper steps and everything, like oh, I thought, I just jump up here, and uh, Make it and, really I, and I jumped on bench. a bench and I was going to do a bit of this, you know, this pole runner sort of thing, <laughs> and jump up onto the stage and. Uh, <laughs> And the bench rolled over. <laughs> and as it rolled over, I trapped my leg, right? And I'm going, ah, oh, like that. I said a lot more than just, ah, oh, like that. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. I figured as much. Uh, yeah. oh, I stung it back up and I thought, oh, my God, that's really, really hurt, sort of thing. And I thought, oh, it'll be all right once the adrenaline kicks in. So I pulled myself back up on this riser. I stagger up and I get back on the stage and we're just going on. Chris has just walked on and the drums are going. And I get on there. But what I didn't know, I'd actually smashed all of the back of this muscle, and now I was internally bleeding. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and I was thinking there, like, and I thought I was, I was sort of trying to jump around, and I thought, my God, like, so this is really, really hurting me now, sort of thing, like. So I'm kind of, I did most of the gig, actually stood on one foot, like, with this one just limply by the side. And once we got off, I said to him, I said, God, I've really hurt myself, I fell over at the back. I said, can you go and pull my boot off? And when I pulled the boot off, my entire leg had gone black. Oh, wow. My foot had gone black. And uh... Do you know what he did? He got the medics to carry him all the way across to the other stage for the next gig. Yeah, I couldn't walk. Next gig. I couldn't <laughs> walk. I <laughs> come in. I was in, in agony and they said, we're not going to do that. You can't carry on gigging. I was, well, Watch me. Yeah, of course you yeah. can. I, I, mean, I just stand on the one leg, and that was it. So I was on this hobbing along the stage on the other film, wasn't it? Dragging this leg. Like, you know, I don't know what's. There was nothing funny about that. But um, in hindsight, well, I yeah, it was really because looking funny, back on it, we can laugh. It's funny, sorry, I mean, maybe now at the time, it, um, everyone be quiet. He's really hurt. <laughs> He's actually yes. really hurt. He's yeah. not just accident prone today. He's actually hurt himself. Yeah, this is this is a proper hurt. I was there, there like I said, I, I said to the doctor there. I said, how does it look? He said, terrible. He's a terrible. What have you got a saw in your hand? <laughs> even the medic, even the medic at Castlefest was like, you should probably go to the hospital and not go Out on stage. Out of my face. But yeah. we had half the Dolman clan come oh, up well. as women The show as well must go on and all that. Hmm. As barmaids, that was quite funny. So okay, I, I think yeah, I think these count. So, yeah, these count. Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one I haven't covered yet, because um, because then we've had them, and I'll repeat them to you just so you know who to give it to. Um, is uh, where do you find the inspiration for new songs? Who actually starts writing the first. Right. <laughs> yeah. so who starts writing first? Generally, he's normally, two, isn't it? Normally it is normally Talek, to be fair. And um, he's got more time on his hands. And we've asked him the same question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only doing four albums at the moment, so yeah. Yeah, you know. Like, um, it, like um, I'm a multi instrumentalist, but like, sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm not good at any of them, basically. I'm not, not, not on the, like, the degree where they say, like, you know, Josh is or my son is, sort of thing. Um, but like I, I do write music and I do, uh, I hear music all the time, and so th th this is everything. Like um, it's better he writes songs so, and goes crazy. And so yeah, <laughs> so I can I can just sit down and I can just write them. It doesn't mean to say it'll be a good song. I, I believe anyone can. I, I believe that. We, I mean, we live in a world that is music. I mean, where this world exists because it's built upon frequencies. And these frequencies, if you listen to them and like you hear it, it's all playing a song anyway. So no, it doesn't matter where you go or where you are, you hear music. And as, as we say, music actually joins worlds. Yes. And, um, and we say that for a reason. We all say this for a reason. Um, because it does. Uh, realms.
times, frequencies, everything. So that, that's where we start, really. I mean, I close my eyes and, and, and I just think of it straight away. It just, I listen to, listen to silence and it's like a festival of sound, really. <laughs> That's the only way I can make And there's a song in there, yeah. but the sound of silence. I don't know. Yeah. The worst yeah, thing about it. <laughs> the worst thing about it for us now is that if he slacks at all, his son Konak has just reached the age where he started writing yeah, yeah. as well. So if he starts slacking, Konak's written two songs. And he's yeah, like, oh, he's Dad, very, yeah. Dad. Here you go. Yeah. So we end up recording these. It's an absolutely yeah, yeah. brilliant Con little song. Konak has put all our jobs in so, danger, I feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic songwriter as well. Isn't he? You so, should be careful as well. I, I, he, I, well, he came for me first. He yeah. came for the drums first. He, he's, and we've had a few chats over the last couple of weeks. Actually, so I he's do right, miss the drums. drums. Like, I know you miss the drums. But he realised it uh, like a couple of years ago that it was a lot less effort just to take a guitar off, unplug it, put it in its case, and go to the, not right. to the bar. But like, yeah, so uh, much and he just stands, stands there and watches me just packing away my kit now. Winding at me because it's taking me too long. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's a guitarist now. So, he's a yeah, he's so, guitarist now. So, yeah. so is, is it part of your aim to unite these worlds? Because there is a spiritual side, of course, to the band, right? Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, a lot of people come to us and say they they have uh, yeah. after gigs, don't they? They say, I don't know what happened to me during that song, um, but I wasn't here. The lights mm. kicked in and the music kicked in, the guitar kicked in, and I, I, I left. I left the room, I left the, left the field, and I went somewhere else, and it was absolutely it's incredible. that bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I left and went home. No, so, um, I, I, I left, the, left the venue and I, I travelled somewhere, and it was, it was incredible, and they, they thank us for that. And it's absolutely amazing to, to be able to do that for people. It's part of the reason we do it, I guess. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing better than, than when, when you see a lot of people really, really like in depth into themselves, into the, yeah, really, really into the life sort of working within their minds. From the stage, we see everything. And uh, when you see people really just throwing themselves into something, they get in there. And uh, that's what makes the dolmen organic. That's why we don't have any set beginning or end to a song. Because, um, because we're on that stage. It's like an art, you, you see a painter, an artist, like sort of, they, they're, Every time they paint a picture, it's never going to be the same one every single time. And we're like this with music. So every time we play a song, it's never going to be the same every single time. And quite often we go out of our way to make it different. And we will explore um, various things which is going to happen. Um, to do music for as long as what we've done and, and to enjoy it still and still have that same passion is that you have to, I, I think, for me... You know, I think the same thing for the rest of the guys I, is uh, we do when we're there in our zone. We're with the audience. Mm -hmm. and we're connecting as much. We just happen to have the instruments around our neck sort of thing. Mm. But we're exactly the same places and we're going on the same journey. So and, is uh, this something you can still call work? No, it's, it's difficult to call is it work. It? it is work, yeah. like the travelling and the things you like that. You have to and work really, really hard, yeah. but it's a yeah. pleasure to do it. Yeah. You right. do it's yeah. a lot of hard work. There's no doubt. You can't say that it's just like, oh, it's so easy because everyone would do it. It is hard work, but at the same time, it's a pleasure. It's a more pleasurable hard work. If that makes any sense to it's anybody. A job it's a, it's yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. sacrifice that goes in for music. Everybody in the band, everybody in the music industry, I think, has sacrificed a lot to be able to do what we do on the stage. But when you're, when you're on there on the stage, life's tough. This is a tough world. It's difficult for people. It's Music stressful. Business, I swear, it's it's depressing. And harder and, like, you listen to the news, you listen to all this stuff all the time. You're bombarded with all this. Oh, there's going to be a war here. This has fallen down. The banks are crashed. They've robbed your money. Da, 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 da. And actually, when we step on that stage and we get behind our instruments, we're not part of that world. We get to escape somewhere else. And to be able to give that escape to the people who will, will give their time to come and watch us. Um, for me, uh, I think this is echoed around yeah. the band. We, we speak about this quite a lot on tour. But for me personally, as, as well as part of the band, that's one of the most important things. To be able to give people that hour and a half where they don't have to think about the bills. They don't have to think about the tax man. They don't have to think about the wars. You can just yeah. be, you can listen to the music, you can tune out, you can, you can go where you want to go. And, and that, for, as part of the performer, is one of the reasons we've done the theatre as well, to create a, 
an alternative. It's a bit of a different <laughs> escape. <laughs> it is a different <laughs> escape. It's a different world. Um, but the to, to, create these, to create these escapes where people, you, you don't have to worry. You don't have to be sad. You don't, unless, unless Joss plays one of those solos that makes me cry. Um, or, or, or whatever, you know, you, you can... You can take from our music what you want to take. You can travel. You can, you can be somewhere else. Yeah. And talking about being somewhere else, by the way, because because you're not um, all together here. There is a fifth member of the band. Yeah. Bless her. She couldn't be here today. No. We miss you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She's probably watching, isn't she? I hope so. She better be watching. Better be watching. <laughs> better be watching. <laughs> better be watching. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> Well, and yeah, uh, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. She's, yeah. Hurt yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. she's got a, a severe mm -hmm. injury, so she can't drive, especially not by herself from the south of Germany. It's such a massive, massive drive. I mean, we've got pretty long driving, so our drives probably match to this destination. But, of course, when you're on your own, the, there's no share in the driving or anything like no. that. And uh, doctors advise against flying, so it's unfortunate. But um, yeah. hopefully next time, if whenever we do anything like this or but she should be with us on our next gig she better be she says I'll be really really close to her yeah. Yeah. she messaged us yesterday she says yeah. hello to, yeah. to yourself uh, and you're, you're, you're still connected there. of course and everybody yeah. watching yeah. 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 Um, she yeah. sends her best no, she's actually she gutted she how she can get it yeah? but yeah. like I said I don't even have to make a decision and I sort of when it comes to you know your health and, and everything you've, you've got to make a decision yeah and uh, and sometimes you know that's what oh, yeah. doing, like I mean yeah. Yeah. If, if it's well, sort of Chris or me, like, we, we can't get away with it because yeah. can, we, we live in the same town, so he just walks up outside the house, like, put, walks put, in sticks, put me crutches in the boot, and said, Come on, Chris, come off we go. You don't have to drive yourself and you don't that have to travel true, alone. Right? You just sit it. there in the back of the car dying. And, and that's fine. Yeah, yeah, but that's what, yeah. Yeah, yeah, dying literally, like, sort of, like, so there we are, the driver. I saw a tour driver, like, sort of, uh, we're up in the north of England and we're coming back. <laughs> and uh, I'm sat in the back of the car, and uh, my head's all back, so I'm sort of snoring away, and uh, like sputtering and going. And, uh, and somebody pulled in front of us, the brakes went on, like, and my head fell forward. I can't do it fast. And then um, no, oh, my head fell forward no, no. like that. And uh, so I gave myself whiplash. Right? <laughs> 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 and I like, think. Mean, severe whiplash, that's it, like, I mean, I mean, an absolute agony, like, with this. You know what I mean? I couldn't even move. I couldn't even move my head on the pillow like that. And uh, it's just like uh, I need both. I put my vertebrae out. Oh wow! And uh, they just... <laughs> they had to push them back in. <laughs> and a piece of lump stuck out the back of my neck. And, uh, and I was doing. I was gigging Dortmund with her, and we were at a Christmas uh, festival there doing that. And uh, God. And I really did. Like, I thought, oh, I'm going to die. He's hardcore so, on stage, yeah. but backstage he does not <laughs> suffer well. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you hear by coming from backstage and all the screaming and the crying. <laughs> One of the organisers huh? did it once, didn't he? He's like, oh, it's a dolman, I love the dolman. Oh, poor Ada. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, hey, Ada, the yeah. poor chap from the, from the MPS, bless him. Uh, yeah, but he could. I love the dolmen, they were so rock and roll. Oh, so the powerful. energy, the live energy, like this. You had some kind of weird disease, didn't you? You were throwing no, up in between. Them, I was, that was me no, throwing no, up. You were KO'd on your back, like, and no, no, no. I, I, was in a I was in a plaster cast from there to there. You two you, were on an air mattress. Oh, I was on an air no. mattress because my back had gone. I could have <laughs> And your moved. shoulder. His <laughs> shoulder had gone. Right. I was like, sweating. And I was going, between the two up. trucks, so I was just being violently <laughs> sick. Like He looked around. What has happened to you guys? <laughs> it was great. Uh, right? we, we, we should mention one other lady who really takes good care of you. Yes. That's Without whom yeah. you would not be Probably touring should. like you do. No, we wouldn't. Uh, not at all. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our beautiful... Uh, I think we've got the best beautiful light manager in the whole band. So, can, can we give a shout out to yeah. her? Yeah, to Marlies. Marlies. We love you, Marlies. We love you. You're brilliant. Well, get back over there. Yeah. <laughs> she it's puts like, up with a lot. Like she like does put up with a lot. She puts up with a lot. There was an awful lot. Yeah. I'm glad she yeah. does. And if she says otherwise, we want to know because we're up our game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bless her. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, anyway, anyway, Ben's not lucky <laughs> to have a manager like that. So, uh, yeah. We are. We are yeah. lucky indeed. Um, so I will ask the question. Which one 
and I'll repeat them for you. Oh. Is the one that gets somebody the two tickets for the show of the day after tomorrow. Right. Was, it, was it the one about the Infernal Theater? About the character of the band, if it were a person? Where you get your inspiration from? The supporting act, which we will call a band from now on? Uh, the funniest thing that ever happened uh, during a gig? How you met? Um, your dreams of what to accomplish as a band, or where's where's? <laughs> if anybody, by the way, if we're in an area and we're anywhere near where is and you see it pop up on social media, feel free to show us where is, where is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd quite like to go there just so we know. <laughs> I, um, I like that question be just because it's funny and I don't quite, to be fair, I don't quite get it. <laughs> but oh, at the same time, the, the, whole, the whole question about um, if the band, if the whole band was one person, I like that. that's quite funny. <laughs> it's the most twisted individual you would ever encounter, is what I hear. Yeah, it would be. But I don't, me rather. personally, I think that's actually my favourite question. I don't know about you guys. Well, nobody's ever bothered to try and put the band into one person. That's why they split us up and made us four or five people. I like, think that's a Frankenstein it's sort just, of thing. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Um, yeah, I'll move you on that. But yeah. where, where are you? It's an interesting. It is, it is an interesting one. What, what would that person be? I wouldn't want to meet them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And especially if you're once you've actually got a glimpse of this show, because the Infernal Theatre it takes another side of everybody in the band as well, and uh, and so it's you know we are a different. And it's really, like some act too well. Uh -huh. You know, like it's almost yeah. like, mm, yeah. mm, that's a little bit, mm, you know. <laughs> it comes easy natural. to them, yes, yeah. 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 All right, so that's yeah. the one. And then I will mention... Everybody... Oh, what, 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 are you, are you, just, are you all, your favorite question? Are we all in agreement to this? Well, I'm going to have to be now, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not, because no, he you didn't have definitely decide. He's, he's, he's okay. kind of on he's the on the fence. fence. I'm swayable. I quite like the one that's the funniest I'm, thing. I'm actually thinking, I'll give you, I'll give you uh, uh, some, some time to think, because did we cover your dream to accomplish as a band enough? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Oh, wow. Oh. Ah, so well, you have some time to think. What was it again? What is your dream to accomplish as a band? Just, well, for me, to continue doing what we're doing. I think we alluded to a bit when we mentioned what you do as a band, but of course yeah. that can still be a dream. I'd love to be able to share it with more people, and that's the great thing, right? you, you guys watching who are sharing this and, and, and liking it and supporting us. Um, we've been really lucky over the last few years to have quite an influx of new people supporting us in what we do. Um, and I, uh, like I said earlier about the band being a bit of an escape, I'd love to be able to share that with more people. Um, yeah. That would probably be my dream. Every, yeah, every tap um, of that finger helps us continue doing what we're doing. Yeah. 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 Any musician, Nobody wants to work in an office. <laughs> uh, I didn't make more albums. Like, I mean, the yeah. dream, my dream is to actually be able to actually turn over more music. More different styles as well. Us too, but we weren't going to mention yeah. that because you get us in the studio when we're back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, oh, that was the other thing. That was the other thing. Yeah. Making band videos. Video? Yeah, yeah, that's what I, was I, yeah. I know yeah. some guy mm. who actually knows how to make real good videos. Talk yeah. about the Fantasy Awards. Yeah. He's got a lot of entries this year. We've had he might be really video. close. You might get to speak to him later. We've had some real good fun making videos, haven't we? Yeah. It's been absolutely it. hilarious. I don't really understand why we it. always yeah. choose the coldest months in the world to make a bloody <laughs> video. Yeah. November All of and my January. Gear is sleeveless. <laughs> I don't I'm have sorry, any sleeves who was stood on the end of Pulpit Rock? You had sleeves, you had a coat. I didn't have a coat. You did when we weren't recording. Yeah, and you could move around and do that <laughs> and everything. We were just I was stood. dangling off the edge of pulpit right. fox. When we did the Nawada that video, free will video. We're talking about phone videos. With the, with the, with the, the Nawada video, the free will video. Yeah, yeah. The, it doesn't quite show how close to that cliff edge. I was that close to the cliff. You were pretty close, but you were on your feet. 
I have my back to it and I could feel the spray. <laughs> like, it was like about that close to this cliff edge. Down. Like, you don't play like, you're not this reserved on stage. Why don't you play like you do on stage? Uh, I'm <laughs> down at all these waves hitting the cliff edge. What I if your chair play moves like, a bit? Yeah. <laughs> like, play like you do Benzing. on stage. You're wasting film, you're wasting time. I'm like, I can't. It's too long. At, at the end, at the, the beginning of the interview, I was really flabbergasted, and you you heard me fall silent for a while because to be this close and to see you play like not that, you do no, I've not seen it this close up, and you do move a lot, so you could have easily moved your chair a bit. Closer, it does move. Yeah, well, that's what we're trying to encourage yeah, to do. But, you know, right. Yeah. At the drama, edge of a cliff, you know, especially. I can do that here. I'll do that here for you guys, but not on the edge of a no, cliff. No, no, I can imagine. It. it was the shorter <laughs> cliff. <isn't it>? Right. <laughs> I was yeah. going to vote. So, that. apart from <laughs> dreaming of <laughs> people falling off, <laughs> the dream then would be. It's basically to continue doing what we're doing and just to. to Believe that we are living, living the dream. Living the dream. Right. To make it a bigger. Good one. Yeah. Living the dream, but just for it to be. Bigger and last yeah. longer, you know. We don't, we don't, don't, want, we don't want it to end, yeah. right? Just I don't really want to get old. Ah, who does? Yeah. Oh. Um, all right, so <laughs> we will, <laughs> yeah, okay. What well, final one final time? Um, the character of the band, the inspiration for new songs, uh, the supporting band, uh, the funniest thing, um, how you met, the dream, where's where is. And the Infernal Theatre. Now's the time. I think for me, I think I do best question. Well, I'm not the best question. We're all good questions and things like. But I like that. What would the dolmen be? It really is food for thought. Mm. Because um, mm. when right. you look at us, and we we all look at each other in the cars driving along, and I sort of like this, and you know, we're looking at each other, <laughs> like and doing all that, you know, and um, and there are so many different silent mm. people. <laughs> Characters meaning uh, multifaceted no, personality. Yeah, yeah. All right, then yeah, I can yeah, tell yeah. you that um, Valerie is the happy one. Why don't you come on over, Valerie? Well, that will be the day <laughs> after tomorrow. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I think you will see a big smile on her face somewhere in the crowd, and she will wave at you saying, that was awesome. Valerie, that was great. Valerie. Awesome. Valerie, if you're watching, come and say hi. Come and see us at the merch stall or whatever after. Awesome. Come, come and say hi to us. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, Valerie. In het Nederlands mocht je het Engels allemaal niet even verstaan. Het lijkt me sterk. Maar Valerie, je hebt gewonnen. Gefeliciteerd. Twee tickets voor de show van zaterdag. Um, now, I'm going to let you get back to doing your thing, but not before I've had uh, Femke up on stage, because we did have the hashtag. And there are some announcements she wants to make uh, related to... Uh, hashtag what? Vraag het Femke. We're going to make a patch up. Vraag het Femke. Vraag. Vraag. It's the vraag. Vraag. Het Femke. Can you do it? No. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. Careful now. Oh, was a funny thing. Right. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Let's even omschakelen. Hoor. Even omschakelen. Yeah. Ineens geen Chris meer en ineens in het Nederlands. Ja, ben je ja. weer wisselen? Is dat fijner? Wat, in het Engels? Nee. Nee, ook oh Chris. Ja. ja. <laughs> nee, dit is prima. Oké. Okay. Er zijn vragen binnengekomen. Er zijn, Japan. ja, er zijn, uh, er zijn een hoop vragen binnengekomen. Ook aan de dolmen, die kon ik helaas niet doorsturen. Maar heb je vragen aan de dolmen? Zou ik zeggen, mail gewoon even naar ze, stuur ze een berichtje en dan weet ik zeker dat ze dat ook willen beantwoorden. Of kom morgen naar de P60 of overmorgen. Jij kan het zo mooi zeggen. Ja, ik weet nou niet, is het Bibelo of is het Bibelo? Ja, dat, dat. <laughs> Vraag dit niet aan Femke of nee, Alex? Nee, vraag mij dit niet. <laughs> maar inderdaad, laat, kom vooral, ja. want uh, uh, ze zijn uitermate benaderbaar. Dus, Zeker, uh, ja. Uh, maar nou voor wat betreft de uh, kansenvestvraag. Ja. Uh, Alicia wil weten wanneer de early bird tickets stoppen. Nou, dat is, uh, we hebben daar eigenlijk niet een bepaalde einddatum voor. Het is een, uh, wij werken met percentages, dus het totaal aantal tickets uh, die hebben verschillende, zijn ingedeeld in verschillende tariefperiodes. En wanneer die tariefperiode op is, dat percentage, dan schuiven we door naar de volgende. Dus wanneer dat precies is, dat kan ik niet zeggen. 
Maar ze gaan hard. Dus we hebben er niet heel veel meer. Dus wil je early bird korting, dan zou ik echt snel kopen. Oké, okay, dus niet ja. achteroverleunen nu en denken augustus is nog heel ver. Hè? Nee, dat is dichterbij dan je denkt. Ja. Ja. En zeker als het gaat om de kaart verkopen. Zeker wat als het gaat om de kaart verkopen. Wat natuurlijk een hartstikke mooi teken is. Want ja. het wordt dus gewoon weer een feestje. Het, het wordt sowieso een feestje. Ja. ja. Um, een groot deel wat het feest maakt bij Castlefest is natuurlijk... Uh, de line-up, mm-hmm. de bands. Het is oh. vooral ook een muziekfestival. Ja. Vorige keer heb ik natuurlijk al een beetje het vuur aan je schenen gelegd. Maar jullie hebben iets uh, van een, 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 een riddle, zouden zij zeggen. Een, een raadseltje gegeven. Mm-hmm. Over troerdoer zuiden, het noorden en het zuiden. Ja. En dat staat natuurlijk voor een, een bepaalde band die komt. En geen kleine. Nee, dat is een vrij grote. Een lang verwachte. Ook, denk ik, ja. ja. Zeker, ja. Nou, vertel. Nee, nee. We <laughs> vragen het Femke. Ja, ja. Maar sommige vragen zijn beter onbeantwoord. Huh. Nog even. Hmm. Ja. Maar, wil je het weten? Ja. Nee. Ja. <laughs> nee. Wil je het weten? Ja. Dan moet je zaterdag om 18 uur 18 even onze pagina in de gaten houden. Oké. Okay. Dus ofwel achter je laptop thuis of met je mobieltje terwijl je de bibel op binnen wandelt. Ja, kan nog net, toch? Kan, ja, dat gaat kan, kan net, ja. Ja, ja. ja. En dan wordt het bekendgemaakt. En dan wordt het bekendgemaakt, ja. Er zijn natuurlijk al de nodige bands bekendgemaakt. Ja. Maar deze moet nog even wachten. Ja, ik ga niks zeggen, <laughs> Alex. Komt er nog een, een extra hit? Ik vraag het niet voor mezelf, ik vraag het voor Romanen. <laughs> nee, nee, ja. Nee, ik, dit is alles wat ik erover kan zeggen nu. Okay, ja. nou. Sorry Romanen. Dan zal ik de domme niet langer laten wachten. Dus, dus um, wat er ook bij hoort, als we het toch over muziek hebben en Castlefest en, en de build-up daar naartoe, Spotify playlist. Zeker. Gaaf, ieder jaar. Ja. Ook dit jaar? Absoluut. Ja, nee, we kunnen niet meer zonder. Dus we gaan absoluut weer een playlist maken. Achter scherm zijn we er al mee bezig, maar we, we geven meestal vrij zo een paar weken voor het evenement. Dus dan is die helemaal af, dan is die helemaal compleet. Dan kan iedereen in de, in, met de voorpret even in de stemming komen. Dus die staat nog niet openbaar? Nee. Want dan zou je natuurlijk heel goed kunnen zien welke band de Troubadours is. Uh, ja. Die staan er nog niet in. Ah. <laughs> sorry moeilijk. Alex, sorry, sorry. Ja. Heel erg lastig. Heel erg lastig. Um, wat ik mezelf afvraag. Vorige keer kwamen jullie met de cabins. Ja. Helemaal nieuw idee. Ja. Ja, hoe is dat verlopen? Nou, die waren in een mum van tijd uitverkocht vorig jaar. En dit jaar hebben we er daarom een paar meer gehad. Maar die gaan ook weer heel hard. Dus we hebben er niet zo heel veel meer over. Het dus echt aan. Ja, nou, ik kan me wel voorstellen. Dan hoef je niet zo'n tentje, lekker op een, op, een, op een fatsoenlijk bed slapen. En dan die cabin uitrollen en dan ben je op het festival. Ik moet zeggen, ik ben een paar keer langsgelopen. En dan keek ik opzij en dan keek ik naar mijn tentje. En dan mm-hmm. dacht ik, nou ja, ik snap het wel. Ja, ja het ik is natuurlijk ook wel. heerlijk zo'n tentje. Ja, het hoort er helemaal bij. Ja. Ik vind het ook super interessant dat er nu van festietent van die donkere tent zijn. Ja. Slim. Niet, uh, niet je tent uitbranden ochtends. Nee, bijvoorbeeld. Zo. S'nachts goed kunnen slapen. Ook wat waard. Ja, zeker. Ja. Maar wie slaapt er nou s'nachts op kaasofest? Nou ja, stel dat je straks wil genieten van die ene headliner. Ja. Dan nou, wil je wel uitgerust zijn. Dat zijn? Ja. <laughs> goed geprobeerd. Um, maar dat is dus mooi, dat dat goed loopt. En, ja. uh, dat betekent dat er meer komen. Dus als het deze keer beter loopt, dan er volgend jaar nog meer. Ik hoop het, maar dat durf ik niet te zeggen. Ja, We hebben er een hoop en uh, ze gaan hard, dus wil je er eentje ja. opschieten. Mooi. Ja. Deze tijd ging volgens mij ook heel hard. Ik heb geen idee meer hoe laat het is. Maar weet je wie ook hard gaat? Nou, de dolmen. De dolmen, ja. ja. Dus we gaan gewoon nog even lekker van ze genieten. Yes, zou je dat doen? Ja. ja. Um, so, yeah, you didn't understand any of this, but yeah. maybe the last hint you got. Oh, it's the name there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I recognize the name. Yeah, yeah, it's something to do with these big standing stones they have all over the world. Uh, That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, no, we said you really, well, hard gaan is an expression in, in, in Dutch, which means that, like, you really rock, which I think is fitting for a band called The Dawn Moon, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so take it away, please. Well, the night was long and the curtain 
was cold when I walked up to her door. I said, have you a place for me? A space within your floor. She looked into my brown eyes. She was looking coy. She said, come in, I want yourself a lovely tinker boy. Well, we went in nine on caviar and she sat down next to me. Before too long, a lily white hand was resting on my knee. She said, I know it's wrong, but now you're drunk and fed. Oh, won't you come upstairs with me, lie within my bed? She took off a diamond necklace, her ring's the finest gold. She laid up on the circus sheets and it spotted baby bow. But I couldn't help but think, as it lay between her breasts, I could make her think with my silver tongue that the sun falls in the west. Oh, when she awoke next morning, reached the class for me. She found her tinker boy was gone and likewise a jewelry. Put two years on upon her knees, sits her pride and joy. With two brown eyes to be mine. This next song is dedicated to a lovely lady of the Ojibwe Nation called Jolene Keg, who made these beautiful headbands for us.
There's a darkness in the eyes of man Makes him blind There's a deafness in the hearing of man There's a darkness in the heart of man that beats love. There's a coldness in the heart of man that just beats love. There's a need within the creeds of man that beats love.
use your magic make things change every person on this planet is born equal and each deserve opportunity wisdom comes naturally if it is not slaughtered before no man or woman can call themselves free unless they have freedom of choice but of it all and most importantly we should all learn to stand together and countries learn to stand with each other under that one beautiful theme the magic of love Bent met een boodschap en wil je daar meer van horen, dan kan dat morgen in de P60, overmorgen in de Bibelot. En ze hebben nog een hele tour gepland, dus check het op hun website, check het op Facebook, want ze zijn in Duitsland, in de UK, maar natuurlijk ook in Nederland. En ja, wie weet waar nog meer binnenkort. Het was geweldig om zo dichtbij ze te mogen zijn en natuurlijk fantastisch dat jullie hebben gekeken. Bedankt voor jullie Vragen voor de wedstrijd en gefeliciteerd als je gewonnen hebt. Uh, maar natuurlijk ook voor de vragen aan Femke. Absoluut. Want uh, Castlefest komt natuurlijk ook hard deze kant op. Ja. Uh, maar voor nu, Castlefest TV, deze is klaar. Graag tot de volgende. Sowieso. Tot dan, bedankt voor het kijken nogmaals. En tot de volgende keer.